Hello, my wonderful students at home. Hope you are staying safe and hope you are enjoying your holiday. Please don't forget to help out in the house shows. And hopefully very soon we'll meet again. My name is Miss Catherine Mbonyeme. I will be taking the subject mathematics. And our topic for today is geometry plane shapes. I come again, geometry plane shapes. Our lesson objective for today is at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to mention the shapes and discuss the properties of the shapes. Geometry shapes can be named, can be named as figures or area clues by a boundary, which is created by combining the specific amount of curves, points, and lines together. A geometry shape can be named as figure or area clues by a boundary, which is created by combining the specific amount of curves, points, and lines together. Examples are triangle, circle, square. And examples in our house is we have television sets, we have the DVD, we have the, DVD, we have the laptop, and so on and so forth. So let's go into details of the shapes. Number one is the circle. The circle have a circle phrase, which is the circle phrase. When you want to draw the circle, the, the your pencil or the your pencil or the pencil you use in drawing the circle from the starting point, which is zero to to the end of it, is called circumference. The distance around a circle and the radius is half the diameter, and the diameter is half of a circle. We also have the shell, a straight line joining two points on the circumference of a circle. We have the half, a section of a circle bounded by two radii. We have the tangent, a straight line touching the circumference once at a given point. You can see the diameter, the short, the tangent, the point of tendency, and the second. So let's go to number two property which is a square. A square is a four-sided figure which is created by connecting four line segments. A square is a four-sided figure which is created by connecting four line segments. A square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. The opposite sides are parallel. The two diagonal that bisect a right angle triangle. The two diagonals at the bisect at right angles and they also have four lines of symmetry. This, are, this is a square and this is the, the, the side edge that makes a square which is four. One, two, three and four. And all four sides are equal in length. The opposite sides are parallel. All internal angles are equal to 90. We also have the diagonal are equal in length. So this is the diagonal dividing the words. The square. We have the diagonal crosses their midpoint. This is the midpoint. And the diagonal crosses it. We also have the diagonal are perpendicular. The next is a triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. The total sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. The total sum of angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. We have the types of triangle. The scalar triangle, the three sides are not equal. Doesn't have equal sides and not equal angles. We have the equilateral triangle. The three sides are equal with equal with equal angles. We also have the isosceles triangle, where two sides are equal. We have the obtuse triangle, where one part of the one side of the triangle is greater than 90 degrees. We have the acute triangle.
triangle. Any three parts are less than 90 degrees. You have, also have the right angle triangle. The one side of the right angle triangle is 90 degrees. This is an example of equilateral triangle. The three sides are equal, with three equal angles. This is an example of a isosceles triangle with two equal sides. And this is also a scalar triangle with three of equal sides. We move on to we move on to a rectangle. A rectangle is created by connecting four line segments. A rectangle is created by connecting four line segments. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. All the angles of the rectangle are 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and also parallel to each side. The diagonal of a rectangle by side each other. The difference between a rectangle and a square is a square has all the sides equal, while a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Move on to the end of week three lesson, and I believe that today's lesson, you are able to understand the different types of geometry plane shapes, and you can be able to identify them when seen around you. So let's move to week four. I will be discussing perimeter and area of plane shapes. We'll be discussing perimeter and area of plane shapes. So let's get our lesson objective for today. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to use measurements to find the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. Use formula to calculate the perimeter of plane shapes. Use formula to calculate the area of plane shapes. Perimeter of plane shapes. Perimeter can be defined as the outside boundary or edge of a plane shape. Perimeter can be defined as the outside boundary or edge of a plane shape. We have the regular shapes and the irregular shapes. The irregular shapes doesn't have a definite shape, but the regular shapes have a definite shape. And you can use your meter to draw and also get the measurement. But the irregular shapes, you cannot use the meter to get the exact measurement. You have to use a thread or a string to get the measurement. So let's have an example of plane shapes. We have examples of measuring perimeter. Examples of measuring perimeter. We have, this is a plane shape. You can see, you can use a meter rule to take movement from here, from this edge to this edge, which is seven feet. From this edge to this edge is three feet. This place to this place is seven feet. From here to here is three feet. And the perimeter is the adding of them together, adding the edges. Adding the edges together or adding the boundaries, the outside boundary of the shape together. So we have seven plus three plus seven plus three plus seven plus three plus seven plus three. We have the total of 20. And the perimeter is 20 feet. We have number two example, we have this as a shape. So in this, from this place to this place, is five centimeter from this place to this place is eight centimeter from year to year is three centimeter from year to year is six centimeter and the addition of all together is five plus eight plus three plus six which will give us 22 the perimeter is 22 these are examples of perimeter using measuring using a meter rule to take the what the perimeter. So now let's go to use the formula to find the perimeter of a plane shape. Using formula to calculate the perimeter of what plane shape. We have the rectangle. The rectangle is what we have the length and the breadth. And the perimeter of a rectangle is 
We have the length plus the breadth plus the length plus the breadth because that's four sides. And if you observe, the opposite sides are equal. So we have this to be two into bracket length plus breadth as the formula for finding the perimeter of a rectangle. So let's solve example using the formula. Example, a rectangle has a perimeter of 74 meters. Find A, the length of the rectangle, if its breadth is 7 meters, and B, the breadth of the rectangle, if its length is 25 meters. I come again. A rectangle has a perimeter of 74 meters. So we should find the length when the breadth is 17 meters. And also find the breadth when the length is 25 meters. Solution. Solution to number one. The formula for finding a perimeter is 2 into bracket length plus breadth. And we were given perimeter to be 74 meters. And the breadth is 17 meters. And the formula for finding length of a perimeter is Perimeter divided by 2 minus breadth. Perimeter divided by 2 minus breadth. And we have it to be 74 meter over 2 minus 17 meter. So I find the LCM of 74 meter over 2. 74 meter divided by 2 minus 17 meter over 1. So we have it to be the LCM is. 2. And using 2, how many 2 can you find in, in 2, which is what? 1. 1 times 74 gives us 74 meter minus, we have 1. How many 1 can you see in 2? Two? 2. 2 times 17, we have 34 meter. So, 74 meter minus 34 meter divided by 2. 74 meter minus 34 meter is 40 meter divided by 2. So now the length of the rectangle is 20 meters. The length of the rectangle is 20 meters. So let's solve for the breadth of the rectangle. When, let's solve for the breadth of the rectangle. When perimeter is equal to 74 meters and the length is 25 meters. We will know the formula of the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2 into bracket length plus breadth. And the breadth is equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus length. Perimeter divided by 2 minus the length. We have it to be 74 meters divided by 2 minus 25 meters. Taking the LCM, we have 74 meters minus 50 meters over 2. So 74 meters minus 50, we have 24 over 2. 74 meters divided by 2, we have 12 meters. So therefore, the breadth of the, of the rectangle is 12 meters. Let's move ahead. We have the square. Perimeter of the square is length times 4. Why? Because all its sides are equal. So the length of the side of the square is perimeter of square divided by 4. So let's take an example of a square. Example, calculate the perimeter of a square whose length is 15 millimeter in meters. Calculate the perimeter of a square whose length is 50 millimeter in meters. Solution. Don't forget that the perimeter of finding a square is P, which stands for perimeter, is equal to 4 head. I know the reason why it's 4 head, because all the sides are equal. And the head stands for what? Length. So we have 4 times length 50 millimeter, which is 4 times 50 millimeter, we have 20 millimeter. Converting millimeter to meter, we have, we have 1,000 
millimeter will give us one meter. 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.2 meter. So let's move ahead. We have the parallelogram. The perimeter of finding the parallelogram is 2 into bracket A plus B because the parallel side, the opposite sides are what? Equal. So let's take an example on it. Examples. Two sides of a parallelogram are of length 5 cm and 8 cm. Calculate the perimeter of the parallelogram. Two sides of the parallelogram are of length 5 cm and 8 cm. Calculate the perimeter of the parallelogram. We have solution. Perimeter of the parallelogram is 2 into bracket A plus B. This length side of 5 and the second side is 8. So the addition of the two together is 5 plus 8 is 13 centimeters. And 2 multiplying 13 is 26 centimeters. So the perimeter of the two of a parallelogram is equal to 26 centimeters. Let's move ahead. The next one is a circle. This is the diameter, half of a circle. The radius is half of a diameter. And we have circumference of a circle is pi diameter or 2 pi. Remember that the diameter is equal to what? 2 times radius. So which is what? Diameter circumference, perimeter of a circle is 2 pi radius. So let's go ahead. Example, the diameter of a bicycle wheel is 56 centimeters. Calculate each circumference and how many complete rotations can the wheel make in a distance of 1.76 kilometers. I take that again. The diameter of a bicycle wheel is 56 centimeter. Calculate its circumference. How many complete rotations can the wheel make in a distance of 1.76 kilometers? Taking pi to be 22 over 7. Before I forget, circumference is the same thing as perimeter of a circle. Circumference is the same thing as perimeter of a circle. So the formula for circumference is pi d or 2 pi r, whichever question is given. So we have our pi to be 22 over 7. Diameter is 56 centimeter and 2 meter is 0 0.56 meter. So for to see circumference is equal to 22 over 7 times 56 centimeter. And our circumference is equal to 176 centimeter. From that to meter, we have it to be 1.76 meter. I come again. Circumference per circle is equal to pi d or 2 pi r. The server question is given. Once you are given radius, you should use 2 pi r. But once the question comes in diameter, you use pi d. Given our pi is equal to 22 over 7, our diameter is 56 centimeters. And to convert 56 centimeters to meter, we have 0 0.56 meter. And the circumference of a circle is equal to the pi, which is 22 over 7, times the diameter, which is 56 centimeters. We now have 176 centimeters. From that to meter, we have 1.76 meter. So, number two question says, how many complete rotations can we will make in a distance of 1.76 kilometer? How many complete rotations can we will make in a distance of 
of 1.76 kilometer. The distance is 1.76 kilometer, and our rotation we don't know, and our distance is equal to circumference times the rotation, and we have our distance to be 1.76 kilometer equals to our circumference, which is 1.76 meter times our rotation. Now we have 1.76 kilometer equals to 1.76 rotation meter. So we now have, a, we compact 1.76 kilometer to meter. One kilometer is equals to 1,000 meter. 1.76 to kilometer to meter, we have it to be 1,760 meter. So for us to find the value, the number of rotation it takes, the value of rotation it takes to complete the the the, the wheel, the motor, the first find the, the numbers of time it it takes to complete the rotation. We have 1760 meter equals to 1.76 times the rotation and meter. We now divide both sides by 1.76 meter. We now have our complete rotation is 1,000. The wheel we make 1,000 complete rotation in a distance of 1.76 kilometer. The wheel we make 1,000 complete rotation in a distance of 1.76 meter kilometer. So let's move on. We have the triangle. The perimeter of a triangle ABC is equal to triangle AC plus triangle AB plus triangle BC. Triangle AC is A plus triangle AB, which is B, plus triangle BC, which is C. So the perimeter of a triangle is adding the three sides together. Let's take an example of it. Find the perimeter of an, of an equilateral triangle of size 6.5 centimeter. Find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle of size 6.5 centimeter. Solution, don't forget that equilateral triangle is all of, it, it has all of its sides equal. It has three angles and three equal sides. Solution, an equilateral triangle has all its sides equal. Perimeter is A plus B plus C, adding three sides together. So since equilateral, since equilateral triangle, the sides are equal, we have this to be, if the sides are equal, the angles are all the same, which is a plus A plus B, A plus A plus A, or B plus B plus B, or C plus C plus C, because it has all of its sides equal, which was equal angles and was equal sides. So we have 3A, which is perimeter is equal to 3 times 6.5 centimeter. Perimeter is equal to 3 times 6.5 centimeter. Why are we using 3? Because the sides are equal. So 3 times 6.5, we have 19.5 centimeter. Let's move ahead. So we'll come to the end of perimeter of plane shapes. I know that using the formula of finding perimeter of plane shape, we can be able to find the perimeter of a square, of a triangle, a trapezium, and also use the measuring, using measurement to find perimeter. So let's move towards area of plane shapes. Area of plane shapes. Area of plane shapes. The area of a shape is a measure of its surface. The area of a shape is a measure of its surface. The square is used as the shape for basic unit of area, meaning that in any area of a shape, it will be given us square 
as a mod, a unit of a, the basic unit of a, of area. The basic unit of area of any shape is going to be square. Square. For example, we're going to be having centimeter square, meter square, kilometer square. It comes as what? Well, square. So let's have an example of area of plane shapes. We have the rectangle. Area of the rectangle is length times breadth. Area of the rectangle is le length times breadth. And by finding the length of the rectangle, we have for you to get the length of a rectangle, we have area divided by breadth. Finding the, the breadth of a rectangle is equal to area divided by length. Finding the breadth of a rectangle, we have area divided by length. Area divided by length. So we have an example. Find the area of a rectangle room 6.5 centimeter long and 5.5 centimeter wide. Find the area of a rectangle room 6.5 centimeter long and 5.5 centimeter wide. We have solution. Area of a rectangle is length times breadth. And we have our length to be 6.5 centimeter and our breadth is 5.5 centimeter and area is length times breadth. 6.5 centimeter times 5.5 centimeter is equal to 35.75 centimeter square. Let's move ahead. We have square. Area of a square is the square of a side, length of side or square or length times length. Length of side, we won't get the length of one side when the area is given. We find the square root of the area. Example, calculate the area of a square. Of, calculate the area of, of a square advertising door of length 5 meters. Calculate the area of a square advertising board of length 5 meters. So we have it to be area is equal to length times length, which is 5 meters times 5 meters. 5 times 5 is equal 25 meters square. So let's move ahead. We have the parallelogram. Area of parallelogram is equal to base times height. We also have us to find the base of the parallelogram, we have area divided by height. For us to get the height of the parallelogram, we have area divided by the base. When you are given a question to find the base of a parallelogram, and the area is also given, you divide the, the length, divide the area with the height to get the base. Once you are given a base, and also given an area to find the the height of a parallelogram. What you do is to divide area by the by the base to get the height. Let's see an example of this. Example: Calculate the area of a parallelogram if its base is nine centimeter and its height is six centimeter. Solution: Area of a parallelogram is equal to base times Height given our base is nine centimeter and our height is equal to six centimeter. So area is equal to nine centimeter times six centimeter. And nine times six is fifty-four. Centimeter times centimeter is centimeter square. So let's move ahead. We have the triangle. Area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is equal to half times base times height. Half times base times height. Example is calculate the area of the triangle where the base is equal to six centimeter and the height is equal to four centimeter. Calculate the area of the triangle where the base is equal to six centimeter and height is equal to four centimeter. Solution, area of a triangle is equal to half times base times height. Given our 
base is equal to six centimeter and our height is equal to four centimeter. Area is equal to half times six centimeter times four centimeter. So we have three centimeter times four centimeter, which is three times four is 12. And centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. Now we move ahead to the next one, which is trapezium. Area of a trapezium is half into the bracket A plus B, bracket close height. Example, calculate the area of a trapezium given our A, which is the parallel side, is 8 meters, and our B is 12 meters, and our height is 5 meters. We have solution. Area of the trapezium is half into bracket A plus B, bracket plus times height. We have our half into bracket 8 meter plus 12 meter times bracket close 5 meter. 8 meter plus 12 meter is equal to 20 meter and bracket close 5 meter. And we have half into 20 meter, we have 10 meter times 5 meter, which is 10 times 5 is 20. Meter times meter is meter squared. So let's move ahead to the next one, which is what? Circle. Area of a circle. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared or pi b squared over 4. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared or pi b squared divided by 4. Our r stands for radius and our d stands for diameter. So let's treat an example. The circumference of a circle is 44 centimeters. Calculate its area. Take pi equals to 22 over 7. The circumference of a circle is 44 centimeter. Calculate its area. Take pi as 22 over 7. Solution given. We're given our circumference to be 44 centimeter. And the formula for circumference is circumference is equal to 2 pi r. And 44 centimeter is equal to 2 times 22 over 7 times r, which is equal to 44 divided by 7 times the radius, because we don't know the radius. So we we'll multiply both sides by 7 over 44. We have 44 centimeter times 7 divided by 44 is equal to 44 over 7 times 7 over 44 times the radius. And when it cancels out, we have 7 centimeter is equal to R. And our radius is 7 centimeter. So now we cannot find the area of a circle. I come again. The second point of a circle is 44 centimeter. Calculate its area. We cannot find the area because area of the circle is pi r square or pi d square divided by 4. But we are given the second phrase and the pi. So we have to find the value of the radius, which is 7 centimeter. So now let's find the area of the circle. Area of the circle, we have to be 2 pi r squared. And our area is equal to 2 times 22 over 7, which is the pi, times 7 centimeter, times 7 centimeter. 22 times 22 is 44. And our 7 can divide 7, we have times centimeter, times 7 centimeter. And our area now is equal to 154 centimeter squared. We we'll come to the end of today's class, and I believe that you have be able to understand the geometry plane shape. That you can be able to discuss and, and identify their properties, and also you can be able to 
is able to solve equations using the peri using perimeter and also finding their areas. So we have I'm giving you assignment on the not uploaded. Please make sure you do the assignment inside your assignment note, not inside your mathematics note. Mathematics assignment note. Then you copy your notes inside your mathematics notes. So you will meet next week. Take care of yourself and remain stay safe.